He's yeah. going to Nova Scotia. And, and he come from Lucasville. I was 15 when I met him, and I started going with him when I was 16. And then after that. Oh, that was a long time. Yeah. How old were that, you? That you... picture up there on the bureau. That's, that's how old that's you were? That's me now? and Papa. He, I was about... Father liked I had to wait until I was 21, then I didn't have to ask her permission anymore. <laughs> and we got married secretly and kept it a secret. Are you serious? Yeah, until I got pregnant with Beverly. And then when I got pregnant with Beverly, I had to let my mother know. Yeah. But my mother-in-law knew, my father knew, my sisters knew. Everybody but Everybody your mom. my mother. Wow. And boy, then she, she turned against me. Yeah. What was that, well, the Lucas tradition? Well, they came here from Nova Scotia every summer. Mm. And used to have a, when family reunion started after, uh, you know, the man that wrote Roots, mm -hmm. they had Alice their Hill. first big family reunion, but I was leaving for California to visit Bev. Oh, and, and we took where Son was a baby. So I got to go try to find them. I'm not. Long and thin, because I, I was very thin and uh -huh. long, skinny feet. And my sisters had wide feet. And my mother used to make me wear my sister's shoes, you know, because she couldn't afford, you know, because narrow shoes were very expensive. Yeah. And I used to have more blisters on my feet. And when I get old enough, when I went to work in Filene's, I wound up with 135 pairs of shoes. What? I, and Sonny, my husband said, you know one thing? You need to see a psychiatrist. There's something wrong <laughs> with you. And, and, and anyway, the doctor, one time I went to the doctor for something, I guess I was pregnant with Errol or something, and he brought this, that, this up, because Beverly was born first, and then he was six years younger, old, you know, mm -hmm. six years after it, so it had to be an after. And he brought this up, and he said, do you know my wife has 135 pairs of shoes, and she don't even need them? And, you know, and I explained to the doctor how we were poor, and I, we had never had anything. He said to my husband, you know, that's psychological with her, and she'll always, and I still got shoe. I have about 25 pairs of shoes up in that closet right now. Uh, and when I went to be interviewed by Dr. Phillips' wife, Marion Phillips, who was the head of human resources and filings, she said to me, I stood in line for about six hours, there were about 600 people in line for those jobs. And she, when I got to her, when I got in line, Lunchtime came. We was there about eight o'clock in the morning. At lunchtime, everybody left to go get lunch, but I stayed in line and pushed me closer. And when Marion Phyllis interviewed me after lunch, I, I'll never forget. She said to me, "I said I like to run an elevator, you know, a job running an elevator." And she looked at me. She said, "You know, you have the uh, looks of a sale. You would make a good salesman." I said, "Oh, I, I don't know anything about selling." She said, "We'll send you to school." So they sent me to school, and they hired me. How old were you when that happened? Mm. Well, yeah. Beverly and Eric and I knew Papa. Oh, in high school. He used to come up, you know how, how they used to come up to school, to, the boys would get out of school English. He went to English oh, high, yeah. okay. and I was going to Memorial. And him and Neville folks and all the guys, they used to come up to meet the girls when they come up to school. That's how I met him. <laughs> really? Uh, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So both you and Papa were lookers back then, huh? Huh? But both you and Papa were lookers back then, looking all fine and good and stuff. No, no, no? I could, I just couldn't stand him. No. <laughs> <laughs> no what do you mean all, the girl, all the girls were after him, and I said, "Well, I don't think see anything so hard about him." <laughs> and you know, and I was the one that wouldn't pay him any attention. Yeah, yeah. That's why I fell in love with you. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And Betty Warren wanted, oh, all the girls wanted in the night. And, and, and one day they came and they came from school and, and they were in a, one of those panel trucks, you know, those little tr trucks they drive around with those in back. Yeah, yeah. And we was, I was young, and he told me, he said, come on, come on, come on, get, grab them, get on. And so a bunch of us girls went, ran to get on the thing. And we were going on the back of the truck. They were going. It wasn't going too fast. And I couldn't get up in the truck. <laughs> and they stepped on the gas, and I fell. Oh. So you know I didn't like him after that. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you went at that time? Huh? How old were you when you went Gee. that way? When I went my last turn, I gave Winnie, I, you know, I gave Winnie Phillips the, well, I started, well, I started playing when, uh, 
We played right there on those same courts that the guys are playing on now. Franklin Field. Yeah. Yeah. And, but I, the Sportsman's was at Frank. It was at Franklin Field. Yeah. But Dad taught at Lemuel Shattuck. Oh. He taught all the nurses and doctors in the Olympic Shattuck Hospital on that, all the people. He taught at Columbus Avenue. I got letters of his from Mayor White, where he had that. I still got them up there. Yeah. 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 Where I, I, so you, you'd have to go up there and look in them books. That'll tell you the years I played tennis. What year did um, Papa start teaching at Sportsman's, when he left the Navy Yard? No, when he left the Navy Yard. I can't remember the year. He, yeah, he left the Navy he had to teach at the Schwarzer, and we almost got a divorce over that one. <laughs> Wait, over, but why? Yeah, but, well, because, you know, I couldn't see him giving up a good, because when he retired, I, he had been in the Navy at about 29 years. Yeah. And he left the Navy yard. and when he left there, then the pension I got was nothing when he came out of the Navy Yard because he gave it up. Yeah. yeah. He worked there for 20 years. But he said years. that he could make it up playing tennis and he did wonderful playing tennis. Made And then he only got 50 cents a lesson then it went up, you know, went up and up and up. And then he was doing good but he never paid into Social Security. Oh, really? Yeah, because so he means... didn't, because he didn't, I didn't know what you about it. But I remember, well, Errol was gone, Beverly was gone, I was working, you know. And when he told me, he said, you know, honey, uh, Jimmy, Errol helped build that, you know, sportsman, ask Errol. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to teach over there when they get it built. And I said, oh, no, no, no. And we had many bitter arguments over it. But anyway, he find, I finally made up my mind. He got, you know, from driving the, he was a heavy duty trailer. The truck, his shoulder out the window, he, all the time he got sciatica, like in his shoulder. Yeah. And he said, well, he wanted to give it up. And I said, you know, I said, you know, dear, we have already, did, we had moved to Colorado Street. And I said, you know, you make the decision. I said, because you're, you'll make, and I'm still working in Fellini's. I was the first black woman to be hired, you know, on the street floor. I am from tennis. He just got sick and couldn't, and couldn't play no yeah. And but that's when the sportsman gave him a retirement party. And don't forget Mattapan's first fundraiser was I still got the T shirt, you know. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. What was, what was the name of it? Um I can't remember, but I still have my T shirt too. And that was in had, I can tell you what year that was. What was that? Nineteen ninety three. Was that ninety three? Yes, nineteen ninety three when the when the Mattapan gave the first fundraiser and the mayor and everybody was there mm. and the governor and he got all them and awards. Nancy Wilson and all, came. Yeah, and you, we got Nancy those Wilson pictures. Came, yep. Yeah. See, when you talk, talk about things, it brings it back. Remember Mr. Taylor came? You were there. Mr. You were, you and Alan and Errol. Yeah, I still got those pictures. And Lisa and my family came from California. Yeah. And because he died in 94. Yeah. Yeah. He died the next year. Wow. Yep. That was 1993. Returning to serve. Return. That's what it was. Yeah. I still got Returning the. I still got a T-shirt. Returning to serve. Yeah. I still Returning have mine somewhere shirt. too. And and that, and that was at the Western Hotel. Don't you remember? When mm -hmm. Rhonda would be about 40. Vivian's daughter. Vivian will tell you. Yeah. She taught Vivian's daughter. That's when the kids began getting harder. She, that would be about 40 years ago. And that's why I've always been willing to help people and anybody. I would help anybody, you know. And then I, and, and, and when, you know, that's why when I was in California, I used to write 300, le three and 400 letters a year because through tennis and winning tournaments, we made friends all over the country. Yeah. Because they came from, to open tournament at, at Yale University brought people from all over the country, you know, yeah. all, everywhere. So we made loads and loads of friends. So I had loads of people to write to all my life, Three you know. You, when, you make, when you make friends in tennis, you keep them. This woman that's dying now, was it somebody I met right at Sportsman's Tennis Club? Um, words of wisdom. Huh? Some words of wisdom for us and everybody. Do you have any words of wisdom? Uh, yeah. your word, some, my words of wisdom from the Bible? would be, Never forget the past. People say forget the past. Mm -hmm. And just keep looking forward to the future, you know? Yeah. I never thought I'd live to be 94 years old, Henry. 
Look at me, I'll be 94 this year, and I'm the last of the Lucases, and the last, I'm the matriarch of the Lucases and the matriarch of the pages. They're all gone, both families. Yeah. I mean, the me, you know, the immediate family. They yeah. got nieces and nephews and people like that. Yeah. But my, I outlived my mother, my father, all my sisters and brothers. I lived out my, I outlived my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and all the, my brother-in-laws and my sisters-in-laws, and I took care of every single one of them while they were sick. I remember you I was their caretaker. That. Yeah. Caretaker for a and, long and, time. And, you know, and now I just think, I just go from day to day, you know, I just, you know, go from day to day, but I've never forgotten my, one thing, one word of wisdom is never forget where you came from. That's mm -hmm. my word of wisdom. <laughs>